Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 491. Yes, 491. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's hop right into it. So first up is State of the Industry Q&A released by Toy Books, Big Entertainment Year for Pony in particular. <coughs> As, uh, who's written this? A uh, story. A site called Toy Books has done a short Q&A with Hasbro president Eric Nyman, 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 uh, talking about their plans for 2022 with their various brands. Uh, My Little Pony in particular came up and was dedicated. Uh, sorry, uh, de dedicated, uh, dedicated an entire answer aside from the stuff that we already heard about. Uh, heard about it. Uh, he also talked about the May twenty six short "Make Your Mark" with a slightly new description. <clears throat> then on May twenty six. Our special Make Your Mark drops on Netflix, picking up from the movie where the main five are learning to live with each other and their new powers. Okay, mm, alright, alright, alright. Sunny has Alicorn powers, Pip and Zip can fly, and Easy has Unicorn magic. I wonder what Hitch will do. Uh, maybe this will be one of those jokey bits about a pony? Or oh, maybe if ponies get some real magic in G5, if, uh, it will be interesting to see where they take this. He also goes on to mention on podcast, music and app planned. Mention a podcast, music and app plan. alright. Uh, I wonder what that podcast and those apps will be. We already know we are getting a console game. Uh, 2022 looks to be pretty full of ponies. <coughs> alright, alright. Um, the upper part of the um, news is just um, more details on the um, uh, move, the special Make Your Mark. Um, obviously, we heard that the special is going to be on Netflix and then YouTube and then it, uh, it's one of those things where uh, Netflix, uh, YouTube Netflix is going to have content. Yay. Um, the other one that's surprising is that uh, he talks about the uh, ponies and what they have. Like, uh, Sunny has Alicorn powers? I mean, that's... Huh. It took Twilight about three seasons to get Alicorn powers. And it took Sunset about three or two to two, 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 two movies, I think. I think so, two movies, but that's not really Alicornish, I don't know. Uh, and. Sunny here just got one movie and she got the core powers. Like what? <laughs> um. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I'm going to theorize here and just say that what we saw in the final was okay. That's her quote unquote Alicorn powers, but it's not a um fully fledged Alicorn powers of um like I I'm thinking it's says pseudo Alicorn powers like. She access, she embodies the whole element of friendship and what it means to you know what whatever Celestia says all those times in age, so she gets it but not fully like there's certain requirements that she needs to pass, and since this world, we got no idea how everything is, um, is barren of magical powers. So, she gets a jump start? I don't know. <clears throat> the world has... The, uh, G5's world has been moving to more technological uh, setting where um, technology kind of helps whatever the ponies can, couldn't do. 
long range communication, um, long distance traveling, and so on, blah blah blah. So, um, magic is kind of a new thing for them, <coughs> unlike the uh, previous ponies. Um, I'm just gonna say G4 because um, I got no idea what happened in G3 and G2 and G1. So, um, the surprising part here is that um, there's a podcast music and app plan. Music is obvious because take a look, see at how G4 did with its music. Um, I bought all the albums that were released, so yay, got my money there. But the podcast, um, oh boy, that's one of those things where I, I got no idea. I mean, in all honesty, um, I do a podcast. Obviously, you you guys are watching this. But I'm just wondering, like, what kind of podcast that they could do? And mind you, this is going to be one of those um, <clears throat> uh, corporate podcasts where they're just going to be talking about what they have, what they do and stuff. I mean, um, to what level is their podcast? Is it going to be a discussion point on the episode where they can call people from the show to be on? Um, the actors, the writers, the producers, and so I mean, if it's to that level, then I'm out of job. <laughs> That's why I did back then. But um, uh, if it's just very um, kiddie like, or it's just like, this is what we're going to do, and this is what the content is going to be, and it's if it's that to that level where it's dumbed down and simple, then I have nothing to worry about. <clears throat> also. The MBS show is not sponsored by anything or any entity, so we can say and give our opinions fully without any biases, biasness that we can think of. <laughs> so yeah, um, we have to wait and see. We have to wait and see. Let's move on to the next news. <clears throat> next news is new banner with new description on My Little Pony website. Main 5 live in Maritime Bay. Hmm. Okay, let's read the news. <clears throat> the My Little Pony website has been updated with a brand new banner showing off the tale you tell your tale. Yes. The update description doesn't give a whole lot of details, but it does seem to hint that all the ponies live in Maritime Bay now. Living in Maritime Bay, our ponies, besties, are having tons of fun together. This five-minute episode offers funny, fast-paced story that will have every pony, sorry, every pony in stitches. This is similar to Pony Life, where its chunk of five-minute episodes, uh, if you don't include the intro outro song, so each segment is five minutes. And when you combine everything, it's 10, then intro-outro music is 30 seconds, plus uh, you times uh, you, you combine them, it becomes 1, and so on. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. okay, um, let's, let's see. Um, this could be one of those pony life things. Um, to make story simple, everybody's in Maritime Bay. Uh... I'm gonna scratch my beard a bit here and say that this one is going to be one of those um, slice of life for coma style um, uh, shows where the characters are just getting used to their new abilities, their new environment, and so on. Uh, you're gonna have uh, Sunny going to be the enthusiastic. Um, pony friend who's just going to show them everything's what's great about Maritime Bay and uh, Hitch is going to be a bit uh, how do I say this um, <clears throat> guarded because well he is the sheriff and he needs to keep the peace and whatnot so I have a feeling that he's not going to be in much of the episodes because well he is a sheriff and hijinks will ensue and probably he will get involved because of hijinks um, the sisters are going to discover that flying is awesome 
and uh, Izzy. Um, name of pony there is uh, Izzy. Yes, uh, Izzy is going to be easy and have a lot of fun. Yay! So, can't say much about this one. This is very short and simple. Uh, the episode is going to pop up on YouTube, so that's cool. So, I'll wait, wait for a bit and we can, well, check it out. So, last news is, the main five have stat sheets now. Hmm. The official My Little Pony Facebook has released stat sheets for each of the main five ponies, covering their kindness, courage, creativity, and uh, sneakiness. I don't know if you can call this scientifically accurate at all, but at least these are neat. Get them all individually below. <clears throat> okay. Um, stat sheets are interesting because um, if you played any RPGs and whatnot, those are the stats that you kind of make your character with and so on. Uh, so having stat sheets, um, at the same time too, this reminds me of the transformer stat sheets or the whatever stat sheets at the back of trading cards. <clears throat> but let's see this. <clears throat> uh, Hitch, kindness is at the top, like he's maxed out. Courage, he's not full, but he's like 90% there. Creativity and sneakiness, he's about a 5%. Don't ask me how I know the percentage-wise. I'm just guessing here because it's low. <clears throat> so, let's see his um, uh, other stats. Uh, he's a Nerf Pony. Hometown is Maritime Bay. Best pal trait is uh, dedicated, responsible, and helpful. Uh, hidden traits, surprisingly good dancer. Oh, cool, cool. A perfect day with pals would be playing games, following all the rules, of course, and he wins every time. Okay. What makes Hitch a great pal? His dedication to protect, uh, to protect and serve means he will always keep you safe. Okay. Um, he's, uh, the whole sheriff thing is all good. And yeah, uh, this, this is one of those um, D&D traits where you create your backstory or create your personality and yeah, these are cool, these are cool. Uh, let's move on to, um, not all, but a few. So I'm just going to pick three. Uh, Sunny, Sunny is the main character, right? So her kindness is about at a 80, courage is the same thing. Creativity is about 50% to 40%. Sneakiness is 5%. That means um, H will be 10, all right. She's a Nerf Pony, obviously, Maritime Bay, Best Pals, determined, determined, Curious, and Idealistic. Hidden Talent, a great baker and chef. We did see that, we did see that she bakes a bit. Yep, so that's good. A perfect day with Pals would be exploring new parts of Equestria with a pack of homemade muffins. Muffins! I know a pony would love that. What makes Sunny a great pal? She will stand up for her friends and love learning what makes each uh, um, sorry, and loves learning what makes each one different. Hmm. Cool, cool. Oh, does she have? Oh, oh, uh, ooh. The three D render has shows her having rainbow hair. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> Let's go for zip. Okay, so. Kindness is about 60%, Courage is max, Creativity is at 95%, Sneakiness is about 95% too. Uh, she's a Pegasi, Hometown is at Zephyr Heights, Best Pal traits are Independent, Athletic, and Rebellious. Ooh, rebel, Rebel, Rebel. Loves math. Ooh, um, she's a Nerd Jock. Hmm. A uh, perfect day with pals would be rock climbing far away from the palace walls. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> rock climbing.
climbing far away from the palace walls. Mm, yes. What makes Zip a great pal? Once you get past her sarcastic exterior and get to know her, you'll have a loyal friend for life. Okay. Sounds fun. She's great. I just love the part where her hobbies are just getting away from home. <laughs> alright, alright. <clears throat> and the rest of the two, I'm going to let you guys read at home. But yeah, oh man, uh, stat sheets for this. Uh, this would be very interesting for G4 to have. We have six ponies and whatnot, and we can clearly see what their attributes and so on. But hey, um, we, we didn't get that. That's too bad, but hey, uh, it'll be fun. So anyway, that's the news for this week. Um, kind of a short news week compared to what we had last week. Oh my goodness. That was a lot of fun, by the way. So um, yeah, let's move on to what have I been doing this week. <clears throat> so this week has been pretty uh, normal. Normal and slow. I uh, haven't been doing much um, besides the... Um, uh, going to LGS and play Magic the Gathering, Commander format. Uh, that has been a lot of fun. Uh, recently, the store has been, uh, no, sorry, the store just started its uh, competitive 1v1 Commander format, and it's kind of cool. Um, got crowns, but it was a learning experience, and uh, it was. It was fun. Um, let's just say that experiencing that game was fun and um, trying to do stuff with the format is interesting. I, I, I like it. Uh, other than that, I haven't been playing a lot of video games, but I am very interested in getting uh, a few. Um, one of the games that I want to get is Sifu, and that, that looks fun. That looks really fun and I want to try it out if possible. But other than that, um, I can say much. So yeah, um, just gonna wait for a bit and just yeah, relax for it. Uh, so let news is done. Nothing much. Let's wrap things up. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themitchellgmail.com. Uh, you can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, and also please. Subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and also... Sorry, um... Yeah, 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 up to date and stitch radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on www.com, links will be in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review in Discussion podcast on iTunes and stitch radio. Over there you can catch me, Silver Quill, uh, Totera and maybe other guests when they come. Uh, reviewing pony episodes, comics, special movies, and so on. Uh, sometimes we like to do other things than ponies. Those can be cartoon, anime, manga, comics, movies, video games, and many more. Uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MPS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review, discussion, podcast, exclusive, and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank... Lucky Knight, Master Flag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya!